Obviously, folks, we have a situation with Charleston, White, and T. K, Kirkland, and, obviously, Charleston White was on tour with Live Nation. He made a few intense allegations against T. K, Kirkland, and Live Nation. He was making statements like, you know, T. K, Kirkland was trying to get him to pretty much fail to meet expectations. He felt threatened by his ability to sell tickets, and that he was one reason why Live Nation was selling out a lot of shows at the parody stores and things like that. But presently likewise, one thing that Charleston White was utilizing against T. K. Kirkland was that, hello, you know, these folks never paid me. They never sent the cash on the 1099 and the most interesting thing that I think that he said was, he was not permitted to sell his product in any event when they guaranteed him to do as such. I want to play that clasp right from time to time we'll return. We really want another 1099. We ain't got a 10. Let's assume we go. We go mail you the check. T. K. Kears. Hello, man. You know how we make it happen. I'm to make sure you get your cash. I ain't get that check. We go to San Diego. So I'm on the West Coast. So I'm staying at the Venetian. So when I got to pay my security since I'm on the West Coast, they wouldn't let me sell my merchandise. So part of the agreement that I took this tour is I can sell my merchandise. Live Nation wouldn't let me sell my merchandise on me. So they let me sell it at one show. They wouldn't let me sell it at the next show, so they stopped me from selling my merchandise. Presently, T.K. Kirkland has answered again to Charleston White, and he had this to say. Charleston White did was throw me under the transport and threw little lies in there that he's like the band. Like they added more shows due to him they. You got fans thinking he's more interesting than me. Also, I've been doing this 37 years. I toured with Madonna, N.W.A. Also, the cold hard cash moguls like so I'm not distraught at Charleston White. You know what I want is Charleston White to understand that you got to be mature with regards to corporate. I like you saving man. I don't want to say. You know what, the will? You know what I will say? Assuming that, yep, no doubt. Assuming I know you and I see one of these predators out here, you on the off chance that I fuck with you like that, but I fuck with you. On the off chance that I... In the event that I step up in your name, nigga. T. K. K. Kirkland did the shit to Carmen. Goodness, amazing. I'll put this multitude of niggas on blast. This, you all predators, you all be punking and little. That's genuine shit. Maranzio was at the satire store that T. K. Kirkland told him. God damn it. He can't go up the next show. When? At the... Pet plane when they was doing the Fat Tuesday down there? Who the fuck don't tell you? You can't go up. You ain't no mother. What's more? Look, I'm putting myself on the line. Assuming that I'm lying, I'm kicking the bucket. Told Carmen when she was down there at the spot. You can't sell your shit down here. No doubt doubt. No doubt doubt. What's more, I knew why he got it done. Since he... He tormented. Maurizio and Carmen know he could whoop. What? I said it. Presently. What? What? I ain't trying to start shit. I'm just putting it on blast. I like. That's, that's my companion. I like T. K. T. K. Kirkland. One of the is, one of the. He was one of the first man I had any point seen. Talk to the crowd straight up. We just seen him. Definitely. I got. I got love for T. K. On that side. 
But I know whether someone be like in the event that it's Anne or a little. They'd be like, that's like, no doubt, doubt, that's. He popped little I used to do. What's more, I'm just saying. Presently, this is interesting in light of the fact that this clasp of Corey Holcomb talking about T. K. Kirkland is before what Charleston White said. What's more, he's truism, exactly the same thing that Charleston White said. Hello, T. K. Kirkland is a harasser. He likes to menace individuals. He's fundamentally something like a predator with regards to managing ladies and even individuals who he feels like he can punk. Good. I'm not in any event going to manage those allegations about what he does with ladies since I'm not managing that today. But those of you who, you know, want to manage that, that's on you. But he said exactly the same thing that Charleston White is saying. He won't let you sell your merchandise. He tries to menace individuals. So presently you're saying check your reputation. What's more, this is coming from not just Charleston White, but Corey Holcomb a year prior or even at least this was transferred a year prior. So this is before even that. The reality is, let me just say this. The issue with Charleston White and individuals like him since he's so problematic in a portion of the things that, like I said, he has continuing, and he gets into these little meets and stuff like that, um, and he lies deliberately sometimes to get things popping. It makes it difficult for individuals to trust him. It just does, right? So we don't know what, you know, is he telling the truth and like what's continuing or any of that stuff, and it makes it hard to take him genuinely. The reality is, though, as I would see it, and this is just me being genuine. It's not just him saying it. Corey Holcomb, who admits hello. Look, I like his satire. I like his style. But that's a certain something. I know that he's a predator. I even tell ladies how to manage him. But likewise, not even on that on a business tip. Furthermore, this is what individuals got to understand. Okay. They set up their own tours. Look, we will do our own stuff and I see the reason why. Since they ain't got to go through all that organization. Why? For what reason do you have to? It doesn't make any sense. Thus, hello, I don't know no. Since you all was saying that Charleston White Line doesn't seem like he's misleading me. All in all, folks, what do you think?